Now we will see the problem number 4 of standard type 1 PDE. Solve x square p square plus y square q square equals to z square. Actually, this is not directly coming under type 1 PD because it's involving x, y, and z, p, and q. So we are going to make a like transformation here and convert into terms or uh, convert into a PD of type 1 and then solve using the available method. So now we make a slight modification in the given PD one dividing the equation one by z square we get so for throughout you divide by z square we get x square p square by z square so we write x p by z the whole square plus y q by z the whole square equals to now let us make some transformation here let us put capital X is log X and capital Y equals to log of small y and capital Z equals to log of small z log of small z so what is so from this, I just do here C D X with respect to small x. Differentiate with respect to small x. This equation differentiate with respect to small x. And log means here it is natural log. Basis E that is understood. Is one by. X. So what is D X? It's nothing but D small x by. Similarly, it applies for the other variables also. Therefore, it implies dx by small x is equal to what? d capital X and dy by small y equals to d capital Y and d small z by z equals to d capitalism this is what we get it and so one more thing so we get like this and so what is d capital z by d capital x just you can use these two relationship so what is dz by dx we get d small z by d small x into x by small z this is what we get so we are going to write it once again here x by z equals to sorry x by z into d small z by d small x it's nothing but d capital z by d capital x and similarly to use these two things these two equations we get y by small z into d small z by d small y equals to d capital z by d capital y so we get the relationships like this so now therefore what happens to the given pde just concentrate on this one now both are same but i give a separate name for this from two so what is x by z into what is p actually she actually actually this can be written as x by z into p and this can be written as y by z into q so what will happen to this so therefore 
from 2 we get d capital z by d capital x the whole square plus this is nothing but d capital z by d capital y the whole square equals to 1 now let us assume that capital p is nothing but d z by d capital x everything in terms of capital x capital q is we assume it this is assumption d z by d capital y therefore the given pd say 2 becomes so what will happen this becomes capital p square plus capital q square equals to 1 in this equation as equation number 1, 2, ah, 3. We can give it as 3. Now, three, equation 3 is of standard type 1 PD. So, what is the complete solution? Complete solution of 3 is of the form, but we use everything capital letters because now we concentrate on equation 3. So, capital Z equals to A capital X plus B capital Y plus C. This is the equation. Now, differentiating for Partially with respect to A and B, we get capital P equals to A and capital Q equals to B. Therefore, from the third equation, we get a square plus b square equals to 1 which implies b equals to plus or minus square root of 1 minus a square. Therefore, from 4 we get the result capital Z equals to we don't put capital always use capital X because our equation is now equation our PD is now equation number 3 ax so from 4 what do we get ax plus b is nothing but uh, plus or minus square root of 1 minus a square into capital y plus c is the this is the complete integral of which equation of 3 The singular integral, the singular integral does not exist for type 1 PDEs. Simply we can write like this. Now to find the general integral, let us make the substitution c equals to some function of a. Therefore, our fifth equation 5 becomes z equals to ax plus or minus square root of 1 minus a square into capital Y plus y of I name this equation as 6. And differentiating 6. Partially with respect to A, we get, we go to the next page, A 
extract just need okay so differentiating 6 partially with respect to a we get 0 equals to x plus or minus 1 by 2 times square root of 1 minus a square into minus 2a into y plus y dash of a. This one I simply can strike this common one and already plus or minus is written simply we can put a. Already this plus or minus is there. equation number 7. So now we convert into small x and small y and write it finally the write the final complete integral and general integral. Eliminating a from 6 and 7 we get the general integral general integral of this equation 3 general integral of Therefore, the complete, therefore, the therefore, the complete integral of the given PD. See what is the given PD? The given PD is 1, but what is the transformations we are going to use? x equals to log x, y equal to log y, and z equals to log z. So this one we have to substitute back and get the general integral and the complete integral for the equation number 1. So the complete integral of 1 is given by we go to the complete integral of 3 this is a after transformation we change the PD to this format so what is the complete integral we got this is the complete integral so what is the substitutions we have to make capital Z is equals to log Z capital Y log Y capital X log X so this is where we have to substitute it so this is equal to AX mm -hmm. Z. Capital Z is nothing but log is to AX. A capital X is nothing but log small x plus or minus square root of 1 minus A square into capital Y is nothing but log small y plus C. This is the complete integral. The general integral is sorry general integral of one one is obtained by eliminating eliminating a between Between what are the two equations? Six and seven. That one I am going to make some change here. Between log z equals to a into log x plus or minus square root of one minus a square into log y plus 
for your field. I name this as some age. Hmm? What is equation number nine? Is nothing but the seven to replace, uh, make the transformation back. Zero equals to capital X is log small x plus or minus a by square root of one minus a square plus or minus a by square root of one minus a square. Capital Y is nothing but log small y plus a dash of a. Mm -hmm. Do following equations. That's all. This completes the problem. Okay. So uh, directly it does not look like a standard type one PDE, but after making this transformation. The given PD1 becomes the PD of type 1 PD. You can see the equation number 3. So, using the four methods, we solve it. Then, finally, we use the transformation and get back the solution for the given PD. Now, the final problem is problem number 5. Under this section, solve. Solve z square equals to x y p q. I name this equation as one. Same like the previous problem. Dividing one by z square, we get. xp by z, I can write like this, xp by z into yq by z equals to 1. You can see, dividing by z square we get like this. Same like the previous problem, take the transformations. Take capital X equals to log x, capital Y equals to log y, and capital Z is equals to log z. Same transformation as the previous problem. So what we get, all the things I explained in the previous problem, same like this. So what is capital? This is now looking like a standard type PDE, PQ equals to Now, the equation 3 is of type 1 PDE. Therefore, Solution is of the form solution is of the form capital Z equals to AX plus B capital Y plus C. Now differentiating four. Partially with respect to A and B, we get capital P equals to A and capital Q equals to B. 
therefore, from the equation 3, that is the given PDE, that is this type, the Q equals 1, you get AB equals to 1 and implies we get a relation between A and B, B equals to We are going to use it in 4. Does not exist. Does not exist for type one. Now to find the general integral. Let's put c equals to some function of a. Then our complete integral becomes capital Z equals to a capital X plus b capital Y plus Capital Z is nothing but log small z plus 2 ax plus 1 by a whole ax capital X is nothing but log small z plus 1 by a into y log small z plus c and this is the question this is a complete number of the question and Integration of integral of 1. So 
nothing already we found the general integral of the transform that we need 3 simply we have to keep the transformation and you know, put the z equals to capital z is equal to log z Equation 7 and apply the transformation. X minus 1 by A is X minus 1 by A minus 1 by A square Y. gets over. So in this place, the equation A, we can give this equation also. So that only we can give complete, uh, uh, complete integral. General integral we cannot give like this. We have to simply write eliminate A from 9 and 10 that So this complete this section called as type 1 PDE. The next session we will start with the type 2 PDE, the method and 